Chatter's Pantomime, Beauty and the Beast Episode 2. Welcome back to the Chatteris Cartoon Pantomime, everyone. Before we get started, let's recap. So, in the last episode, we learned that the good witch Winnie cast a spell on the evil prince and his terrible servants. So now they will live their days out as an iPhone, bubble tea, a pair of chopsticks, and she transformed the prince into a beast. The only way to turn them back to themselves is if the prince can fall in love. But who would ever fall in love with a beast? And then we met the wonderful Belle and her sisters in their father's bakery. And I think the father was getting ready to go somewhere? Let's watch and find out. Ah, girls, I can't wait to head off to my baking competition later today. Belle, oh uh, Belle, <laughs> knock knock, it's me, Gary, the love of your life. Well, the love of everyone's lives, really. Oh, hello, Gary. How lovely to see you here. Are you here for some bread? A baguette? Perhaps I can offer you a cake? O-M-G! Gary's here! He's like the most handsome man in the whole wide world! I know! Just look at those muscles, that hair, that face, that body! <laughs> ah, Belle, just the woman I wanted to see. The only woman in the whole of Hong Kong who can match my good looks. Well, try to at least. What do you want, Gary? Uh, what is that you're reading? Why, that book doesn't even have any pictures. How can you even read that? Gary, it's my book, and I enjoy reading it. Uh, uh, Belle, 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 don't worry your pretty little head with reading. <laughs> Girls shouldn't be focusing on books. Yeah, Gary, like we always say, looks over books. Isn't that right, Bun? <laughs> Yeah, looks over books for us, Gary. That's why we're so gorgeous, don't you think? Uh, <laughs> are you two even women? <gasps> what did you say? Excuse me? Girls, calm down. Dad! It's not fair! Yeah, we're much better looking than that plain old Belle. Now, now, girls, don't be mean to Belle. Your time will come. <laughs> well, now that those two trolls are out of the way, um, what do you say, Belle? Marry me? Um, I really should be going. What? What? Do you have a better offer? I'm the most handsome man in town. Gary, I'm focused on becoming a tutor right now. I don't have time for a husband. <laughs> a tutor? You want to teach English? What's the use in that? You wouldn't understand. You can't even read. <laughs> Who needs to read? I have YouTube and my iPhone. I won't marry you, Gary. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, you will. Just you wait and see. I'm so glad Belle said no to marrying Gary. Belle deserves to marry someone so much better than him, who's loving and kind to her. And Gary deserves to marry someone like, uh, well, like Pineapple or Bun. I wonder what they're up to now. Dad, it's not fair. Why does Gary want to marry her of all people? Daddy! 
Make him marry me! Girls, girls, don't be jealous. Someone will fall in love with your beauty one day. Maybe tomorrow, but uh, probably a very, very long time away. But, Dad... Girls, I don't have time for this now. I have a competition to get to. This is really important to me. Winning this competition would make us the best bakery in all of Hong Kong. Oh, Dad! Girls, stop. Let me check the weather for my journey. Oh, oh, not a typhoon! I better take a taxi to the competition to be safe. Goodbye, girls. Be good. Taxi! Taxi! Bun, this just isn't fair. We are the hottest girls in the whole of Hong Kong. If it weren't for that stupid bell, Gary would want me. <laughs> you mean me! Well, either of us, just not that plain old bell. We are just gorgeous! We are just so beautiful. We need to get rid of that oh, bell. Yeah, get rid of her. Wait, what do you mean? Get rid of her. You mean, like, kill her? Yeah, maybe that's a bit extreme. Let's make her go missing instead. Bun. Listen in. I have a plan. Dad has gone off to a baking competition, right? Right? Well, we tell Belle that Dad decided to walk to the competition during the typhoon. That way, she'll run off to try and rescue him and get stuck in the typhoon herself. But Dad got a taxi. He didn't walk. We just pretend that he walked and that he's in danger. Then, with Belle gone, we will have gorgeous Gary all to ourselves. Uh, I'm still not getting it. We lie to Belle. Ugh. Oh. I see. Pineapple, you're so evil. Thank you, I know. Tee hee. <laughs> what are you both laughing about? Oh, oh no, we're, we're not laughing. We're crying. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Dad left to go to his bakery competition at the top of Hong Kong Peak. And, and uh, he decided uh, to walk there by himself. But there's a huge typhoon coming. A T-20. Those don't exist, Bun. It's a T-10. We tried to stop him, but he really just wanted to go. And now, he's probably trapped somewhere. Or maybe even dead. Oh, no! We have to save that. I'm going to try and find him. He can't be out there all alone. Will you join me? Um, well, someone better stay here in case he comes back. And, you know, I can't get my hair wet. I've just had it done. Yeah, I just...
done my makeup, so I can't really come either, you know? Fine. I'll go by myself. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only one who cares about that. She's gone! She's gone! Na 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 na! Oh, poor Belle is in danger. I can't believe what Pineapple and Bun have done. Please come back and find out what happens next with me. Oh, I can't bear to watch alone. <laughs>